Hi guys, it's Brad Gallup, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my bar of my Schleich Barn Rescue River Ranch. So let's get started. So this is our sign. It just says "Welcome to Rescue River Ranch," and the reason why it says Rescue River Ranch at uh, Rescue River Stables is because we rescue horses and stuff of the river because. Our stables is actually near to a river. So anyway, the first thing that you see once you come past our sign is our jump storage and our arena, which is which at the moment we have a jumping lesson going on. So um, right now we have. Penny, aka Wishing Well, and she's our halfling on there, and she is a rehabilitated rescue, so she has actually been here a few years now, and she's one of our lesson ponies, as we do do riding lessons with a few of the horses that are, we have kept on. And riding her is Zoe. Now Zoe is one of the riders here, she helps out as well. And they're just heading towards these little Kavalahi jumps. And then over here we have Mystic, aka Mystic in the Moonlight, and she's our Connemara mare. She is also a rescue that we have had a few years, and she is um, Sky's personal pony, and Sky is the one who's riding her. So even though Mystic is owned by the ranch, she is Sky's pony, as Sky is the daughter of the instructor daughter of the manager owner of the ranch and the instructor now this is kate and she's just instructing the lesson she's the owner of the barn the instructor and she is sky's mom and mystics just heading towards this jump the next to our arena here is our wash stall tap storage blanket storage and then this tie rail here so tied up here we have Poppy, aka Popsicle, and she is our Dartmoor pony mare. And she's tied up here waiting for a lesson person to show up. As she's one of our rehabilitated rescues who is also a lesson pony. She's for like beginners. Next to her we have our blanket and award storage. And this tuck chest. So yeah. Next to that we have our saddle stand. So on the front we have a rosette, and then we have a saddle, and bridle. Then behind that is the wash stall, which tied up in the wash stall is Beauty, aka Beautified Rose, and she's our Hanoverian mare. And then looking after Beauty is Georgie, and she's just like rubbing her down and hosing her down and stuff. And next to those two is our halter storage and lead ropes. So these are all lead ropes that belong. Uh, these are all just spare horses and lead ropes that aren't being used at the minute. So it's all different sizes. Then here is a tie thing with like a cork on the end so you can attach your horses onto it. Then here this is our barn. So in the end stall there is not a horse in it. And the barn is where horses come when they first come here, just so they can get used to it. Then once they've been here, and they're used to the place, then they just get turned out in fields. And only get bored in when they need it. So in this stable here is Blue Bell, Blue Bell, aka Bell of the Ball. And she is our Mustang mare. And she's one of the new rescues, who we only rescued last week, which is why she's still in the stall. And that's her head color. And next to her in this stall here is TP, aka the Indian Legacy. He's a thoroughbred gelding, and he's also a new rescue, which is why he's in the stable. He was rescued only four days ago, so he's still new. And that's his head color. Then behind there, we have our mare field for the mares that have been here for a long time. So, and in here we have Rosa, aka Rose and Rue. She's a thoroughbred mare, and she is one of the older 
Ponies. She's been here quite a long time. She's been here two years. Behind her we have Ziggy, aka Zigzag, and she's our Gypsy Vanamare. And she has been here a year and a half, but she is really settling in. And they are just starting to get her to do lessons as well. And Rosa also did lessons. And here we have Ice Cream, aka Ice Cream You Scream. She's an Icelandic mare, and she has been here for four years, which is the longest any of the horses have been here, other than one. She's the longest any mare has been here. She was one of the first ever horses here, and she's one of the oldest ones that have not, that we have not put up for adoption. And she does a lot of riding lessons with the more advanced younger kids. So then separate then this is the gate into the field and this just swings open and shut the next of our we have our stallion paddock for the stallions that have been here a long time and here we have romeo aka true love and he's a hanoverian stallion and he has been here for seven months and he is just and he is a very good show jumper and dressage horse, so he gets used for like lessons for the more advanced people. Back here we have Hero, aka Big Hero 6, and he is our Shire Stallion. He has been here three years, and he is a good cross country horse. Then there we have Striker, aka Strike for Fame, and he's our Andalusian Stallion. He has been here two years now, and he's a very good p horse for the beginner riders, beginner older children. Then here we have Bob, aka Bob's Law, and he's our Gypsy Man Stallion. He is the only horse that has been here longer than Ice Cream, as he has been here four and a half years nearly five years and he is an amazing horse for all the riders and he does like show jumping dressage and cross country and just flat schooling as well so then when you go past that field there and back past the arena you get to our newer horse paddocks here So, in these paddocks are the newer horses that have, these horses tend to have been here for six months or less, so they are still getting used to it, so they are kept in a paddock with other new horses until we are sure that they are ready to go in with the old horses and start to be used for lessons. So, here at the minute, uh, tied up. Now, this is one of the many training exercises we do, is making sure that the horse can stand patiently tied up. So here we have Jiggy, aka Jigsaw. She's a Pentavian mare. She has been here four months, and she's just tied up to the fence. Wait, and she's just stood there, so just to test her patience. But she would normally be in this field with the newer mares. Then here we have Coco, aka Coconut and Cream. And she's our Dartmoor Pony Mare, and she has been here five months, and she's nearly ready. And there we are just starting to train her to be a lesson pony. Back here we have Lavender, aka Fields of Lavender. She is our Mustang Mare, and she has been here for three months, and she is already starting to be trained to be a riding school pony, and she's really good. Then here we have Merlin, aka Wizards Living Luxury. She's our Appaloosa mare, and she has been here for two months, and we are not starting to train her yet, as she's a bit wild. Then here we have in the new st newer stallions field, so this is where all the new stallions go. And in here we have Q, aka Q Peg. And he is our quarter horse stallion, who has been here for five months. And 
he likes to like run around and stuff and he's not yet trained to be ridden for the riding school yet then back here we have tom aka tom thumb and he is our gypsy van of stallion and he has been here for four months and is getting trained to be ridden uh, for the riding school then here we have ty aka tiny dog he is our truck near stallion and he is nearly fully trained for the riding school we just need to put one of the riding school cubicles on him but so far he's proving to be an advanced mount however uh, we wanted to train him to be better with younger riders so yeah but then over here we have a training arena now this is where we take the horses to like train them to listen to right to listen to commands like in a halter and lead rope and groundwork basically like no riding so in here we have rose aka Ro rise and shine she is our clydesdale mare and she is one of the newer mares however she's been here six months so she has been put in with the older mares and she's really good to ride however sometimes her manners when you're handling her on the ground are a bit off so you can sometimes be a bit naughty so here leading rose is millie she's one of the helpers at the barn and she's just leading her around and trying to get her to listen to her more. right so that's it for the barn tour guys hope you enjoyed and uh i'll see you in my next video bye